Hello, this will be the start of chapter four. Um, chapter four is all about rates, ratios, and proportions. Um, specifically for this first section, we're going to be talking about ratios. Um, a ratio is something that you see an awful lot in mathematics. Um, it is a comparison of two quantities by division. So for instance, if you look at an American flag, there's seven red stripes and six white stripes. So let's write that down. We have seven red stripes and six white stripes. Now we can put this into a ratio, which is a comparison with division. Uh, the most common way that you're going to see it in this book is as a fraction. So 7 over 6, and that would be um, like red over white equals 7 over 6. Um, another way that you might see this written is 7 to 6. And you can also see it written like this. Uh, so there's three ways to write a ratio as a fraction, 7 over 6. And this, this part is the ratio, right? This is just here to help remember which thing went on top. So we know the top was red and the bottom was white. Uh, but the actual ratio is the 7 over 6 here. Uh, it can be written like this, 7 to 6. And it can be written like this, 7 colon 6. All mean the same thing. So if I were to write the ratio uh, 3 to 5, for instance, I could write it like this, I could write it like this, and I could write it like this. Three different ways. Now when we talk about the uh, stripe situation, there's a couple different ways we can organize that information depend upon, depending upon what uh, it might be asked about it. Uh, so if I ask write a ratio comparing uh, the number of white stripes to red stripes, you might say, well, okay, I could do white over red, and I could say 6 over 7. I might ask you to write a ratio comparing the number of white stripes to the total amount of stripes, white over total, so that would be 6. And if there's 7 red and 6 white, there must be 13 total. Um, I could ask you to make me a ratio showing the total number of stripes over the number of red stripes. In that case, it would be 13 over 7. So just given these two pieces of information, uh, depending on what question I ask, you can make any number of uh, different ratios. Um, so like I said, most of the time we'll be dealing with ratios in fraction form uh, because it will allow us to do calculations to solve problems, which is the definitely favorable way rather than writing it like these two things. All right, um, so let's say um, we want to find an equivalent ratio for each ratio. So uh, essentially what that means is we're finding, uh, we're reducing a fraction or we're uh, unreducing, multiplying it by something so that maybe we could add. So for instance, let's say we we're going to reduce this fraction, that would be finding an equivalent ratio, right? So if we divide the top and bottom by 2, we would get 6 over 10. That's an equivalent fraction or an equivalent ratio. 3 fifths is an equivalent ratio. Uh, if we were going to add 12 twentieths to, to like 7 thirtieths, for example, we might need to find a bigger fraction like 36 sixtieths. So these are all equivalent ratios to each other. Um, sometimes we're asked to write ratios in simplest form, but we're given different units. So for instance, uh, if I give you 10 seconds over one minute, and I ask you to read, oops, that's not what I wanted, uh, over one minute, which would be one min, um, the first thing you'd want to do, since these are both units of time, we could actually turn them into the same unit. Um, so we could either turn seconds into minutes, except we don't quite have a full minute here because it's only 10 seconds, or we could change these minutes to seconds. So that's what I'm going to do. So 10 seconds, that kind of looks like a, a 5, so I'm just going to write out seconds over 60 seconds, which as we all know is what one minute 
equals. And now we can reduce it. So we have 10 over 60, which would give us 1 over 6. Okay. Now if I ask you to reduce a fraction where the units were already the same, so if I said 105 feet over 35 feet, then we wouldn't have to deal with the units first. We could just deal with the, um, with the fraction. So we could divide both of these by 5, and I think we'd get 26 and 7, I believe. Let's see, 26, two, no, that's not right. It's not 26, it's 21. All right, there we go. 21 over 7, which would be 3 over 1, which in this case would just be 3. But if we were um, keeping it a ratio, if we wanted to keep it as a ratio, we would stop here. Um, also, notice when we started, there were units here. And when we ended, there's no units. Same thing here. There was feet over feet. And uh, over here, there's no feet. When you're reducing a fraction that has the same units, you actually get rid of the units. So seconds over seconds go away. Um, feet over feet go away. Um, there's a special type of ratio called a rate. For instance, you've heard of it a lot, probably uh, right now. nowadays we talk about 34 miles per gallon. In this case, the units are different, so when we reduce it, uh, we cannot um, get rid of the units. Um, also, these units can't be turned into the same unit, like in this case we had seconds and minutes and we turned it all into seconds. This one you can't because miles is a distance and gallons is a, uh, it measures an amount of liquid right so that doesn't you can't turn gallons into miles or miles into gallons all right um, what else so the other thing we'll be asked to do is figure out um, if two fractions are equivalent uh, so let me start off with a real easy one if I write 2 over 3 equals 4 over 6 um, you can probably tell that those are the same Notice what happens when you multiply the bottom, the bottom left to the top right, you get 12. And what about multiplying the bottom right to the top left? So we're kind of multiplying the diagonals, we get 12. This is true for all equivalent fractions. So if I wrote 1 half equals 4 eighths, uh, this is also true. 8 times 1 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8, and so um, to check out if 18 over 24, for instance, is equivalent to 3 fourths, we would just need to check if our cross products were equal. So 18 times 4 is uh, 72, and 24 times 3 is 72. So these are equal. Yes, 18 over 24 is equal to 3 fourths. Um, if we were going to try 6 colon 7 and see if that is equivalent to 30 colon 36, first thing we'd probably want to do is turn it into a fraction. So 6 over 7 and we're trying to determine if it's equal to 30 over 36. So this really is like kind of a question mark right now. Um, so we try 36 times 6, which is 216. And then we do 7 times 30, which is 210. Those are not equivalent. So we would say no, 6 sevenths is not equal or equivalent to 30 over 36. Um, so I think that's all you will need to know for this section. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.